Uh, the Houston Rockets GM stepped down. So the Rockets are going like full reset. Like their head coach is gone. Their GM has stepped down. So what do you think is going to happen there with the Houston Rockets? Because if you get a new GM in there, like he's going to be the one that picks a new head coach. And like after that, like I feel like nobody's safe on the roster. I heard they're trying to do a, a three team trade. For Giannis, right? Mm-mm. Well, with Giannis, not for Giannis. I don't. But... I don't know who the Clippers would get. The Clippers would get a point guard, but Harden would go to the Clippers, and Paul George would go to the Nets. Is what I'm hearing. So I saw something about Paul George going to the Nets. So too. they've already said that before, but nobody said it was going to be a three team where Harden goes to the Clippers. That would be scary as hell. Harden like and Kawhi, Kawhi would and be Harden. dumb, and then they would still get enough trade back. With a three-team trade, where they would at least get a point guard sure. or something, so they, that would be that would be pretty intense. What would Houston get out of that? Like a first? Um, so Houston would get a lot of probably they would they would get a, bunch get of a picks, lot of right? picks. Yeah, which makes sense because sure. got a new GM, like they want picks uh, because they're giving up. So what I saw, they're giving up Harden. And then Paul George is going to Brooklyn, and they didn't have nobody else involved in it, from what I could see. So it'd be like a lot of picks and like picks some, a couple maybe scrap players. Yeah, yeah. Hmm. But how, how legitimate do you crazy. think of that? Like, do you think that is? I don't know. I, I, I'm nervous because Kawhi himself, he'll drop thirty. He Easy. doesn't. But Kawhi doesn't care what the rest of the team does. No. So Kawhi just wants to go get his twenty five thirty, and then it just expects for the rest of the team to play good. And Harden would do that. Harden would drop another twenty five thirty. Without Consistently. a doubt. Now, the Lakers did shut him down. So, I don't know. We, I mean, we'd have to see. But I can tell you that if that happens, that would probably be the nuttiest thing that will happen right now. Um, other than maybe the Lakers getting somebody or, you know, Giannis going somewhere. But uh, that's pretty tough trade. If, if, if Kawhi and Harden are in... LA on the Clippers that to me honestly would be I still would say LeBron and AD gonna go harder but LeBron is like in his prime leaving his prime you know what I'm saying and yeah. 80s in his prime and Harden is definitely in his prime and Kawhi is definitely in his prime so yeah it, and also like tough. reports have come out of from LA too that Kawhi is asking for like a new player too like it sounds like he may not want to play the PG-13 anymore <laughs> have you heard anything about that about what was that again? Kawhi not wanting to play with like Paul George anymore. So it's not really Kawhi. It's Kawhi's trainer. He just talks a lot. Okay, so, so there's not really anything there as far no, as that goes. It's it's just a stir up. I think that uh, the Clippers come back with just their their same team. They, they got they got, okay. So you don't think anything changes? No, they got Ty Lue now. Ty Lue is well, right. Is that was going to be the next gonna, thing I was going to bring up. Ty okay, Lue's, so. Right. Thinking about Ty Lue, right? Like yeah. other than Doc Rivers, like do you think it makes any difference to the team that they got Ty Lue not right. and not yeah. Doc? Yeah. Why? Uh, because every coach has a different personality. Sure. So like, Doc, just I want you to enlighten me because I really don't know. So to me, Doc is more lax and kind of lets his players go play. Okay. Tyron Lue's kind of like that too, but Tyron Lue started off with LeBron. So, but Tyron Lue makes adjustments in the game, like Doc apparently doesn't like to lose so many 3-1 leads over it's, and over again yeah. that just means you just you're sticking to the same plan and say well we won this way so we can win again right. which that's, like, not no, that's, case, not how, that's not the case if you lost work anyways. that means whatever you were doing isn't working and if you lose two times right before you lose a series okay now make the changes nope right. you don't okay now you just lost a series so uh from doc to lou I, I see Lou being able to make maybe a little bit more slight adjustments. I still don't see and them being that in itself could be enough to it be could, the difference. It, it could. Um, now I still don't see playoff P right, which is what we call him. I just call him Paul George or George Paul, right? Uh, so to speak, when it comes to playoffs, but he just is not a playoff performing guy. Like he's just that's just not what he does. Like he popped off last year with OKC, but I mean, who did OKC have other than him and Westbrook? I mean, that's true. You know, so it, it's tough. How do so. you um? How do you feel? Uh, did you see that Dirk turned down uh to coach for the Nets? Yeah, because it's goofy. Well, it's like I told you. Like it's I was goofy. right. Like he said, like he can't he can't see himself doing anything outside of Dallas. Right. It's, so it seems like the, like it's open for him to go do stuff in Dallas. It's but... weird. I mean, at some point in time, we'll probably send him back with Dallas. But as soon as the reports came out for Nash wanting him there, it it just for what? Like for what? Like. For me, right, Nash is a point guard. Dirk is a big man. Like, 
what so what insight would Dirk have to anybody that's there already? Well, he's won a championship. So has Nash. Well, well right. Well, but Nash like, has it. Boys, though. Well, Nash has it, but Nash has been in like almost the same right. like predicament or spot. So what could Dirk say that Nash can't? Like, I don't. Well, I think them being together, it, it's like we've talked about before, right? Like with energy and like momentum and like vibe, like they're like boys, you know what they're, I mean? So like they right. can bring like that like dog mentality like to like the coaching staff. And I think like that can also translate to like better floor play too. You know what I mean? So Perhaps, apparent, like maybe a, apparently, right? Dirk was like, "No, like I'm good." Yeah. And you have Kyrie and Durant, right? Anybody would almost jump to that. So for Dirk to say no, well, I I'm think all of, right. I think Dirk's one of the few people that could I'm say right. no, right? Like, and so like him and him and Tim Duncan, I think, are two good examples. Right. Like I'm good. Like I don't need to. It's, it's just do weird. Anything. It's just weird that Nash would say, "I want Dirk here," but you don't need Dirk there. Like Dirk, no. Well, I think I everyone think also understood Dirk it helps. wasn't like we need him. It was like, yo, this I would want be him. fun. But, yeah. But but so my question is, why though? Because well, they were boys. Why not? So that's it. Yeah. So that's the only reason. Right. So well, that's why Dirk said no because we're just boys. Don't mean I gotta go coach with you, bro. That's like, a good point. Like, you know like, what I mean? Uproot your life and go live in New York. If, if, like, that's you know, true. if you ask for somebody to be a part of your team, it's to help your team get better. That's a good point. I don't point. think Dirk. Does that? Yeah, he's like, like I, he's like, what do I have to offer? You what know? am I gonna do that's gonna make the team better? You already have Durant and Kyrie, and you've been just almost as far as yeah, I have. Yeah, and Katie's already won a couple of ships too. So, do, so it's like, what more knowledge? Right. I mean, I'm sure there's some knowledge that Dirk could provide well, him. But you, you got know. Kyrie coming out saying nobody's a coach. Nash can coach one day. I can coach one day. Durant can be the coach one day. The assistant coach could be the coach one day. It's gonna be a collaborative effort. Nobody's a coach. Would you want to go to that? Like, bitch, no. wait. I'm yeah, an assistant that'd be really coach. Weird. I'm a coach. You're a player. Yeah. For you to say that we're just all on the same level, that's not what this is. So I wouldn't go either. So I think Dirk was smart for saying no. I thought Nash was dumb for saying, like, I want, I want Dirk. Like he should have known Dirk wasn't gonna go. I knew Dirk wasn't gonna go, and I'm not even. <laughs> oh yeah, his I said boy. the same shit. You know, yeah, like I was it's, like, it's I don't think he. I don't think so. Yeah, it's goofy. Okay. Well. Um. Okay. So did you hear that? Um that uh L- the lakers want cp or uh yeah uh, cp3 yeah i saw that how do you feel about it it's stupid why is it stupid His contract is too big right y'all got no money bro well no we have bread but we would oh yeah you got some contracts expiring, we would right? literally give him all of our money and not be able to get nobody else and and that's stupid well, who else is there <laughs> well bro, bradley bill like is is who we're looking at that would um, be huge. You know what I'm saying? Like, there are other pieces that we could bring with, like, it adding another two or three pieces right. as well. Like, if we just get Chris Paul, that's going to almost cap us, and we're going to bring on, like, a scrub-ass, like, yeah. dude off the bench. And there's no point in doing that. I mean, Chris Paul did show his worth. I agree. But He took the thunder far, man. But his contract, bro, is, like, <coughs> $130 I think, or some shit. Dog, that is a lot of money, bro. How did he get that contract? Because it's, like, a max contract. So he got uh, a max. He was maxed with Houston. Yeah. But then they, they didn't work. So then OKC ended up grabbing him. I don't know why the hell. So then they took on this contract. So now any team he goes to is going to have to take on a $130 million contract, like, no, bro, because you're not. So, like, what happens if no one picks him up? Like, he's he's owed all this money. No, nah, like, he he gets guaranteed a portion. It's kind of like football. Sure, and shit. yeah. Like, he won't well, get the Well, who pays the, the guarantees, pool, though? Houston, he'll... because, like, they offered him the contract? Or would it be, it, I guess now it would be the, the Thunder, right? With. Yeah. The team he's with. So, and the then, team like, if no one else picks gets him up, him, like, that's it. That's what I'm saying. So, they mm-hmm. take a gamble. So, if the Lakers got him and then he gets hurt and they're like, we don't need him. The Lakers have to pay the guarantee, and then well, still yeah. with the money that they have left, try to like it's Figure a it waste, dude. Now I get him and Chris Paul are buddies and shit, but bro, go get like a Bradley Bill. Rondo said he wasn't coming back. Go get like a backup Is he point retiring? guard. Nah, he'll probably opt out to either get a fatter contract. Which I don't know if we're gonna offer him one because there's a couple players that are opting out right now. Anthony Davis is also on an opt out. Anthony Davis will be back though. Davis will for sure get a match from us. So he's already one of those guys taking a max. Yeah. You know, so we have players that we can move and shuffle around. Rondo, we might end up letting go. I would hope we keep Rondo, though, and let, like, Kuzma's and Danny Green's and those type of players go. Well, I don't think they want Kuzma to leave. Just... Well, so th- that's what I'm saying. That's yeah. where this all sure. gets tricky. I uh-huh. think our best move is keep LeBron. He's still there. Let Anthony Davis opt back in for a max contract for another four or five years. LeBron's there for, like, another two. 
bring in Bradley Beal, whether we got to trade Kuzma, or Rondo, or whatever. Bradley Beal Danny plays Green. for the Celtics right now, right? Who? Bradley Beal. He's with Washington Wizards, who are, are ass because oh, yeah. John no, Wall's hurt. I was thinking, um, what's his name? There's so many people like hurting the shit. guy that went to the. Um, the guy that went to the the Clippers, what's his name? Um, the small dude, Kemba. I get Kemba and Bradley Beal mixed up sometimes. Bradley right, Beal so, would be great though. So with Kemba, that's a that was another sh- shot in the foot. He didn't he did not hoop for Boston like he hooped for the Hornets. No. So they almost wasted a pick, and now Celtics is almost in a position where they may want to give up Kemba and Gordon Hayward as a trade package to somebody to get well, somebody Well, we already back. talked about the Hayward for Oladipo situation. Well, well, now, right, because they really just need a big man, right? And Oladipo is supposedly also interested in the Knicks, and the Knicks have, like, hella money. Why would he go play for the Knicks? Knicks have hella money. Knicks can get other people so other Oladipo, than him. Oh, okay. So, like, so Oladipo do, like, like a, like a Kawhi situation. Like, hey, like, if you can get this guy and this guy, like, we'll go. The Knicks can almost bring in, like, two and a half people. Maybe three. Max, you mean. Max. So that's huge. But don't nobody want to go play there. That's the problem. So it depends. I mean, there's trade rumors of Westbrook going to New York. Like, there's there's a lot going on in the NBA right now, bro. Westbrook, dude, I think he's so overrated. Like, I think he's done, bro. Like, he's probably still going to stay in the league for a little while. But, like, Westbrook doesn't win you games. Am I am I wrong for saying he that? He does not. He, he doesn't. doesn't. Win you and games, so right? his his literal track record is anybody he's played with, they lose. And then when that person leaves, they win. And then when he goes somewhere, they lose. Like it's just facts. It's just not, like, facts. And here's the weird thing too. I don't. I'm not saying he's not talented. Like I think he's extremely talented, and I think he's extremely physically gifted. And I think he gets a lot of. I think he gets a lot of points. I think he gets a lot of like assists. Like his numbers are wild, but. Like he just doesn't he doesn't win games and he's wildly inconsistent like especially like in the clutch he is Russell Westbrook's bro. one of the like the least clutch players I've ever seen bro this like, is the thing if his if the ball's in his hands at the end of the game like count on losing like Westbrook up. is not a good shooter but he still shoots it yeah like he's he insists like a, on shooting and he can't make anything he can't bro and like he keeps shooting like he'll miss like six threes and then like put up another one like, <laughs> it's like uh, what we, are you we, doing. We also had this talk, though. If Houston maybe had Capella or, you know, we're looking at a different Houston team. But yeah. you gave up Capella way before you even got Westbrook. So, like, now That's that you stupid. got Westbrook, Westbrook also has a crazy dumb contract. Like, so do you give up Harden and then yeah. make and then build Houston around Westbrook now? Or do well, that's you... also why I was saying that like they might just have to blow the whole thing up. Like just trade your players away, get like a fuckload of picks, and then it's just gonna take some time. I think they'd be better off trading everybody away. To me, their best trade, like I said, would be Simmons. You you do some type of and a package just, deal, just send Harden over Simmons. to Philly with Embiid, and you get Simmons back. He's still young, and then you put some people around him. I mean, he's he can basically do the same shit Harden did. Other than the three, but he can drive it and kick it out. That's what your team has been built this way for this long. So I mean, yeah, but Simmons doesn't put up the numbers that Harden does. However, though, we're not we're not well, trying to build the same team anymore. That's what so, I'm saying. Yeah, it's going to be a different vibe. You know what you I mean? So yeah. I mean, Simmons can drive and kick out, which is what if Harden wasn't shooting it, that's all he did anyway. Yeah. So I mean, it, the only difference is you know Ben ain't shooting no thirty foot three pointers, but uh, yeah, that's their best move. They at this point should blow the team up. Um, me well, personally, now that the GM is gone, I think that's what's going to happen. If I was Houston, I would keep Harden. Like Harden doesn't go anywhere. Like I don't get rid of Harden. He's been my franchise focal point this entire time. I feel like as long as I keep him, I keep most of my fan base. Like if I trade Harden, I don't know what I do to my fan base now. It's like, true though. You what know? do you do without so, the beard in Houston? I, I, like, I would just trade Westbrook. Nobody's going to want him. So just get some some whack stuff back. At least get you a big man though that can do some rebound the ball. Like, yeah. do you think the Spurs do anything this offseason? Spurs were trying to go for Miles Turner. I heard. Does that? Mean and they are do? also trying to push for Giannis. I heard. I don't think that happens. I mean, so the Spurs do have picks, and they do have quite a few young players that they could give up for Giannis for sure. Now Milwaukee, what would it take? it'd be up to Milwaukee though if Milwaukee's going to actually do it. Now, the Spurs team would just be Giannis if that happened. And that's what would happen. Well, Giannis but, is like maybe one other guy, right? But with the mindset of Greg, that would be enough. True, because Greg could take you know, nobodies and, and produce. If he had a Giannis, the Spurs would be sick as It'd hell. It'd be the new Tim Duncan. They'd be pretty sick. They wouldn't have anybody outside of Giannis, really, but 
he would still. You think they'd have to give up everybody? They'd like have to Derek give up. Like Derek White, DeJunte Murray, like they'd have to not, give up. Like, so not like, all not, of them. Like so Brin, you'd either, you, the Spurs would either keep DeJounte, they'd either keep Derek White, or they'd either keep, uh, who's that other dude that came from the G League that's hooping? Lonnie Walker. Oh, so yeah. One they of would those, definitely keep Lonnie Walker. One of those three, right? They would keep. Two of them, though, two out of, of that would three have to go. would have to go Holy with shit. some picks. Never yeah, mind. They'd probably, they'd probably send Lonnie Walker and DeJounte Murray. I think they would keep Derek White. I think I would keep DeJounte. I know. You and like DeJounte I would send White, and I would send Lonnie with some picks. Ooh. Maybe even I maybe even send another player, Ooh. like, off the bench to get Giannis. DeJounte and Giannis, I think, could go ham. I really do. I mean, LaMarcus is still there. Do they want LaMarcus, though? I don't know. But I mean, I mean, if you got you if got you Demar got Giannis, Derozan. You, I mean, we didn't mention those well, guys, right? So that's right? what I, well, I was thinking. Get so, rid of Demar Derozan too. Like you keep like, you, but I, so, oh, well, well, you got to make the trade juicy, right? Right. So like, I guess maybe. So I mean, not. if you give up Demar, then you don't have to give up a lot of everybody else. Well, so that's you, what I was thinking. You know? I was thinking like you could send Demar, and then you could send like like Lonnie Walker. Right. And, if you like, want to do that, though, like, I mean, who do you think is better? Like out of because you'd have to just dis- to determine. Who's the best out of DeJounte, Walker, and White? I think DeJounte Murray I think is Derek by far White, the best. I think Derek White's the best out of the three of them. To so, be see, honest. I think that Murray. But Lonnie Walker might have a higher ceiling, right. though. He does, but yeah. Murray got hurt. That's true. And so, we haven't seen him play in a while. Mur- he go hard. I think he goes the hardest out of both of them. Then I think actually Lonnie is better than White. Because of the ceiling factor. Yeah. Like, Lonnie's Lonnie, Lonnie's ceiling is right. extremely high. So, I do like, I would do, I would actually do. Giannis for Demar and Derek, or Giannis for Demar and Lamarcus. Well, I and think I think LA is. A, I mean, it, yeah, I think LA is a very enticing piece. He's also older, so he is. But I mean, if you can't, if you're not going to keep Giannis anyways, you see what I'm saying? Like he's still extremely talented. Because here's the thing, too, right? Like, what are you going to do? You're going to play Giannis in, in L.A. at the same time? Like, I don't think that happens. I think, like, if Giannis is on the court, like... That's, that's what like, I'm saying. So, so like, why, I keep, mean, but, why but, keep LaMarcus all But days? even then, you might want a big man. Because Giannis well, doesn't Well, we still have really, Yaka Pirtle, though. Like, he, he's great at rebounds. Giannis doesn't play like a big man role. He plays that's like a true, wing. Though. That's a good point, though. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah. you well, so still like, want to keep... LaMarcus could still be underneath, like, for cleanup and, like, exactly. for a lot of rebounds. And then get rid of DeMar can that go. That could work. You know? It, bro, I man, I think the Spurs or Dallas would be the best fit for Giannis So, so if Dallas was, like, leave. the big suitor that came out. Right. Like, but, they, they, were, they, they basically came out, and they were like, we're going to try to get Giannis. Yeah, but there's like, a problem with that. Shit. There's a problem with that. Luke is still on his rookie contract. Yeah, and he's going to want he's gonna get a max. If you bring Giannis, you're going to fill in a max slot there. You already got Porzingis, who you just also gave that slot to, so there's not enough Porzingis money. Porzingis is maxed out, too? There would not be enough money, bro. So then... Luca can either decide if he wants to take a pay cut Whoa. or if he wants to leave. Unless, unless this is one of those like NFL things where like they have a rookie quarterback and they just go all in, and like the window is short, but they like won't. the window's wide they open. They won't. They don't do it with rookies. They let them play out their little weak ass contract, and then they say, "Okay, now we go." So if they're bringing Giannis, they're gonna bring him in early enough to where they're gonna max him right away. You have to. Oh yeah. So for then sure. you. So then if you do that though, you're kind of telling Luca like. We may not well, be able to be like, get Look, to we're going bread, for ships bro. right now. You're gonna. Well, I think Mark Cuban, Mark Cuban might be able to make that work though. He's gonna be like, look, well, I mean, Luca, he like, has you're the money. future of this I mean, franchise. I'm pretty sure Mark could pay out of, out of his own pocket, yeah. like to kind of. Mark keep Cuban Luca would happy. pay out of pocket, but straight up. The problem is, right? Lakers have bread to throw a max. So if you bring in Giannis and Dallas, you don't offer a max, and then you let the Lakers offer a max, and Luca knows that LeBron's about to retire in maybe three, four years. Luca and AD. Ooh. Gross, bro. Well, gross. That's gross, bro. <laughs> well, that's about the same. Yeah, Luca right. and AD or Luca and Giannis, like right. Yeah. So I mean, it's kind of Luca might have, but like Luca, Giannis, and Porzingis. Though? It's not enough money though to go around. So that's the problem because with the Lakers, LeBron has his bread already. AD's about to get his bread, and Luca can still max. That's true. And the Lakers will still have money to and bring LeBron, another. And LeBron player. would take a smaller contract. LeBron has always done that. Yeah. So LeBron would say, "Look, I get it that I'm I'm phasing out." The problem is Luke and LeBron both like the ball a lot. Can Luca be an off ball player no for way. a season or two? Well, I mean, if he's playing probably. with LeBron, like you out know, of respect, he probably, he probably, probably care. would. But LeBron's also really big on assists too. And if he sees yeah. that he's starting to phase out, he might just That's feed what I'm Luka saying. like like exactly. an animal. Exactly. Bro, 
So I, I'm excited to see what's going to happen. Of course, all this stuff is hypothetical at this point. Yeah. But Where do you think Giannis goes? Some of these things you're talking about is going to happen. They said the Heat are going to make a really big push for him, too. I think that uh, Giannis stays in Milwaukee, and they gut out their team and bring him somebody there. Okay. So who do you think goes to Milwaukee, then? Probably Chris Paul. Why is everyone so infatuated with Chris Paul? I'm not infatuated with him, but just Giannis. I'm not saying you. I just well, like Giannis I mean, just personally asked for him. So oh, really? oh, that's right. He dropped a list of like ten people, that's and right. Chris Paul was on that list. So Ugh. I mean, the 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 they already told him as soon as they lost, they were like, "Please don't leave. Like we'll we'll give up anybody, bro, to get anybody that you want, so you can stay." And he's like, "All right, here's my list." So I'm pretty sure that whole team is going to be completely different. Who else could go other than CP3? I mean, they could do, like, the Bradley Bills and all that kind of stuff, but Giannis doesn't need – Giannis just needs a good point guard. That's it, I think, personally. And I also think the Lakers also need a good backup point guard. Not a knock on Caruso or anybody that comes in, but we need, like, a solid actual starting backup kind of point guard like a Derrick Rose or a Jeff T. Well, yeah, they were talking about Derrick or, Rose right. going to the Lakers. I mean, there's right. so many people that they're saying, but you the think Lakers he's a literally though? like he's starting for the Timberwolves. Right. This looked good. The Lakers can get whoever they really want at this point. Well, cuz they want to ship. Well, you not only ship did they want to ship LeBron and AD on that team, like They did it. People will take less money to go play there. They were smart though. So the way that the Lakers did it, like they got AD, which pretty much sold up all, the, all their money. But they did it to where after this season, yeah, their money's gonna be like sky's the limit. They could max out like almost two players at max, which is insane to say that you have Anthony Davis and LeBron, and you can max, two and people. you can still almost max two more people. What? Yeah, that sounds nuts, bro. It's yeah, so, we like never talk about the Spurs on this show just because. Well, of, like, it's because when we started we're a small and market and stuff. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, well, I also don't want people to think like, oh, they're in San Antonio. Like, well, but, so like, I, I really like the Spurs. I, I so <laughs> show love to the Spurs, but the Spurs are a low market. They don't go for high profile players, and so I don't know why that they don't. They don't. This people have to understand as Spurs fans, the Spurs were good because the Spurs sucked at first and drafted good round picks. Well, it's true. Now the Spurs have been relevant and been good every year, so nobody years. good is going to come unless it's on a trade, That's and the Spurs point. ain't going to trade anyone. So nobody's going to come here. Like, yeah, Spurs it's going to be the a money. slow process to build it Right, back up. so it's like, I get it, y'all are, like, the Spurs are good, but what do y'all really expect? Like, how far do you expect to go with just, like, these, the kind of, so LeBron does it too. Like, he'll get a team, and he'll just bring, like, a old like old veterans. Yeah. But it's LeBron. Like, who on the Spurs is LeBron? You'd have to take, like, three or four people to equal him. You know what I'm Like, it's not the same. And so the Spurs play, like, old school. They like older veterans, and they do good. That's what gets them in the playoffs every year. Yeah, but, but I don't think anyone ever legitimately thinks we can win the the. the you can't win the ship no time soon. You have no. to evolve your yeah. way of thinking. And so either Greg's going to have to open up to the idea or he's just going to have I to think retire. Which I he is. Or like, he has to retire. With Lonnie Walker and DeJounte Murray. Right. And- or he has to retire, which then the Spurs will become a, like relevant again. Other, uh, until then, like the Spurs just don't have enough, bro. I hope Pop stays long enough just to beat the all-time wins record that's like literally all i want like if he gets the all-time wins record he could retire in the sunset i want him to retire already i think he's just he just needs to chill man and relax you know he's been talking about a lot of stuff that's not basketball related yeah. like, like politics and stuff and i'm like we don't need you to talk about that he stuff, needs to dude. be he just i think he's over it bro i think he's over it well he's like, coming back he, and he, he seemed pretty motivated he too. had his he had his crew they did well they won five I think he's done. I think he's over. He he knows. I'll get y'all into the playoffs. We can compete and get out the first round. But after that, ugh, it's going to be tough, bro, because you're going to play somebody who's probably almost going to destroy you at this point. That's why I was like, I get it that the Spurs wanted to make the playoffs, but did y'all really want to play the Lakers? Do you like, think the Nuggets or the Jazz could be a, a dropping spot for any of these big free agents? Because I feel like both of those teams are maybe like one guy away from making uh, a real well, splash. The Nuggets are sewed up. Their dudes are just young. They're like 25 and younger. Right. Like everybody. So they actually were missing a starter, which a lot of people forgot about this past playoffs So and season. Okay. They're missing like an actual starter, like a guy that starts. He was hurt. Hmm. And then it was actually two guys that were hurt. One came back in the bubble. The other one just never came back. So they're good. Like Denver okay. doesn't have to make any more moves. They've been three 
like the past couple years. They'll be fine. They'll always be at the top of the West. They can compete. They won't do. They won't. How make, come? How come you don't think they've been able to put it all together yet? Just because of their their maybe, lack of experience. Maybe yeah, experience. So they. I mean, been they beat to, the Clippers. You got to give them some credit. Well, this year, so they've been to a lot of Game Sevens that they possibly should have won. With the exception of beating the Spurs that one Game 7 that the Spurs should have won, which yeah, was oddly which weird. Is great. Other than that, they've lost every other Game 7 that typically they probably should have won. So I don't think that they're a piece off or anything. They just got to get mentally tougher and just have the experience. Well, this year might have been good for them because they exactly. won like two Game 7s. Exactly. So, so they're like, like this okay, year, like, we've been here, we've done that. Right. Like, the, this is the problem, though. When you're just a mediocre team, right, you don't get scouted as heavy. Sure. Now that they've had this season, they're going to be heavily scouted yeah, coming into are next like really year. Take them seriously. It's it's kind of like almost Kaepernick had that one breakout balling out season. Now he's always been good, but when he first that first season when he first came, he was smashing on everybody. Uh-huh. He almost looked like how how Lamar Jackson looked, just throwing everybody and just scrambling for eighty yard touchdowns and shit. Like it was yeah, it was insane. But then that next year, what happened? Yeah, we, we scouted you, bro. We know what you can do. Well, that's kind of like what happened with Zeke, too. You know what I'm saying? So I think Denver will be one of those teams. Now, they will be high. You can only scout so much over talent. Right. They'll be there, but it just – I would give them, like, a couple years, and they can they could be winning some championship, making some noise. I still don't feel like nobody's really doing anything yet until LeBron retires, bro, until I see LeBron decline, and I haven't seen that. So. Well, I mean, I think – well, I think Dallas has a real chance next year. Dallas looks – like okay. I mean, we agreed so, that like I mean, the only reason why they didn't go as far as they did was because of injuries. I feel like Porzingis getting hurt beat them because. <laughs> well, Luca getting hurt too. I, I mean, and even brain. even then, Luca came back and still won a game. And he still, yeah, and still won a game. Right, my like, point exactly. I, I feel like Clippers probably would have lost to Dallas if. No, they, they 100% would have lost to Dallas. And that would have been even more of a shock. And, and the in Clippers the are round? lucky that that didn't happen. Because they, they were almost to a first-round exit. They were really close to a first-round exit to Dallas with a beat-up team. So, yeah, this uh, next NBA season will be very nutty. Uh, it kind of sucks that it's over, but I'm happy LeBron got him a ship, of course. But uh, these these trades and, and all this free agency that's about to go down within this year and next year are going to be I believe be free agency has already started, right? It has, but some players become available after next year. Some players become available this year, but some become available after next year. So I think there'll be more free agency pop-offs. Not this offseason, but next offseason. Mm-hmm. It, it'll pop off a little harder. But there are some like names right now that, that are pretty big that could go to some crazy places. 